Hello, welcome to Tech Dots. This is part 7 of Blazor App Tutorial series, and in this session, we will discuss what is the basic difference between Razor Page and Razor View. So, let's start without wasting time. So, in this session, we will learn what is the basic difference between Razor View and Pages, and what is the basic requirement to use Blazor app we need with the Studio 2019. Okay, and link is given in the description of this video. And I would strongly recommend you to watch the previous videos. Uh, which is what is Blazor and ASP.NET Core Blazor hosting model and create first Blazor app with WebAssembly and Web Server. Okay. Just for reminding purpose, I'm just explaining few steps how to create Blazor server app. Okay. So we know how Blazor server model works. We need a signal connection that can communicate between client and server in Blazor server app. Okay, and we are using Blazor Server template. Okay, so we will open the Visual Studio. We will create a new project. Just select the Blazor app section. Just provide a meaningful name, and we will select the Blazor Server app. Okay, not Blazor Web Assembly because Blazor Web Assembly is not finalized yet. Okay, so let's switch to code. We are using the same solution that we have used in our previous videos okay so you can see the first project which is added in the solution is my first blazor server app okay and this project is used with web server template okay and the second one is my first blazor web assembly app is used for web assembly template for this session we will use my first blazor server app okay that's why it is highlighted and i have selected this one as my starter project and if you will explore this one under pages you will see there are many components what is the difference between razor page and razor view okay so you can see in razor page we have a corresponding model class associated with it okay we can see there is a razor page dot cs html dot cs classes associated with it with razor page dot cs html okay it is view with model you can say okay and so we will call it our razor page okay and if you open a razor view then you will see there is no model class is associated with it so we will call it Razor view okay so this is the difference between Razor page and Razor view I hope you like this video if you have any question please leave a comment I will reply on that as soon as possible and don't forget to watch my next video which is on blazor component passing parameters thanks for watching have a good day